Welcome to Humble Heart Horsemanship. Now, today's video may be a little bit surprising. I know it still kind of surprises me, which sounds weird, but we're going to be doing a fun unboxing haul. And this is not just any unboxing haul. In this box and in there, the big thing, uh, this is English tack, okay? If you know me and if you know anything about my channel here on YouTube, I ride Western and I have been riding Western primarily. It's been my thing since I was 10 years old, so about 15 years now. And for me, riding in a Western saddle has always been my security blanket because I feel very comfortable, very familiar, uh, very competent in a Western saddle. I think a lot of that comes from the fact that that's what I grew up doing um, and also I have owned and leased many horses that you know needed more training and were pretty green and so riding in that western saddle always made me feel just a little bit safer. <laughs> now right after I graduated college I got a job at the Portland metro area's largest lesson barn. At the time we had over 200 active students and I taught like 35 lessons a week. I taught both English and Western riding lessons, but primarily stuck to teaching Western. Now, at this barn, uh, I actually got to ride English a few times and kind of got to feel it out some more. What I had found, like just from my personal experience there, was that riding English wasn't as comfortable as riding Western. I kind of felt and got the gist of how it's a more close, closer contact feel to your horse's body. And I was like, well, I could see where writing English would be really, really good for me as a writer. It would improve, um, you know, my seat, my leg position, my core, all those things. There's definitely an overall benefit to writing both, but I didn't particularly love it. Now, uh, I worked there for several years and one of the last days that I was teaching there, I had a student who... Um, she came all the time and I really got to know her super well. Her name is Kim and uh, Kim was super duper sweet lady. She wrote English and that was pretty much what she enjoyed doing the most. So she ended up purchasing a Wintech uh, all-purpose saddle, English saddle, and she actually brought it out and I actually helped her fit this English saddle to her horse. Now during the lesson, she wanted me to get on her horse and demonstrate something to her under saddle. And so I ended up getting on this English saddle. And I remember when I sat in the saddle, I was like, oh my gosh, this is very comfortable. And I kind of love this, which was surprising for me at the time, having been someone who never really found English riding to be that comfortable. And then it dawned on me that it was probably because I was riding in like 1970, 1980s models of English jumping saddles that were in need of new flocking, that were stiff and just uncomfortable, not like a Wintech saddle. And uh, I'm not sponsored or anything by Wintech, but I love both their English and their Western saddles are really durable, super comfy, highly recommend. Anyways, I like rode in this saddle and I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I don't not like riding English or the English saddle. Maybe I was just riding super uncomfortable, ill-fitting saddles. So long story short, here we are a few years later and uh, my appendix gelding Gemini, we have been doing all the fun things and more here and uh, I've just really been enjoying training him and just getting more used to him and now he's six and I was like I feel like I want to like try new things with my horse and I feel like we have a solid walk trot canter down we have all of these foundational basics under saddle um, but I normally ride him western and I was like it would probably be really good for me to ride English. It would also be really fun to try something new with my horse. So, in here, uh, we have several English tech items, and then in there is the saddle. Now, I had to open up the saddle, technically, like, it arrived like a week ago, I had to open up and double check that it fit me because they have, like, a return policy for a certain timeline. So the saddle has already been unboxed, if you will, but this stuff hasn't, and I'm gonna show you both. So it was like Christmas on steroids when my saddle arrived in the mail. 
I want to show you guys my first ever English saddle. Ta-da! So this is a Kincaid all-purpose synthetic English saddle. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. So this is a really, really nice saddle. I really appreciate State Line Tack because everything on their site is so affordable and they're constantly having sales as well as giving you discount codes so you can get everything at a really um, affordable price. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I really do love State Line Tack. So I did not want to spend like a fortune when I got all this English tack. And so sure enough, State Line Tack had the cheapest price on this saddle on any of the other several sites I looked at. This was only $191, you guys. And so like I said, it has a 17 and a half inch seat. I also ordered it in a size wide tree. So you can see nice and wide from my big boy. Uh, Gemini is an appendix and he has kind of an interestingly shaped back. He's not exactly like super wide or has like a super wide barrel. It may be a little bit wide right now because he's been living on grass for the past two months, but he has like pretty broad shoulders and um, I find that if I order a saddle that has like a medium um, gullet or like a kind of a medium tree, what happens is it ends up pinching his withers and kind of prevents his scapulas from um, being able to flex and have that movement without being restrained. So I just usually get wide. So this is the wide. You can see it is very nice and wide. <laughs> Let me move my hands so you can see it better. But yeah, so this saddle is super cool. I love how light it is. I have not sat on this like on my horse yet, but I did sit on it on a secure saddle stand. Another thing that's cool is that right here, okay, you can see underneath. Now what's really cool is right here, this part, you can attach knee rolls. So these are the knee rolls that came with two of them, and so it has a uh, attachable, detachable knee roll system. So you can basically pull this up and attach your knee rolls like here at the front or a little bit at the back, kind of depending on what you're doing with your horse when you're riding and where you want your leg position to be. I thought that was really cool and like customizable. It also did not come with stirrup leathers or stirrups, so I did order those separately from State Line Tack. That's what's inside the other box, but super nice quality. Honestly, it doesn't even look synthetic, and it's just a really nice, lightweight um, saddle. So, let me show you the other stuff that we're gonna open with this box that literally arrived an hour ago. All right, got my scissors here. We're gonna open this up. All right, let's see what's in here, if I can get this box open. <laughs> what we have first that comes out here. Lots of packaging. These guys know how to keep things safe. Look at this. <laughs> okay, let's get to the good stuff. So first thing I see here are these stirrups. These are the Equa Royal or the Tough One Safety Stirrup Irons. And why I ordered these ones in particular is because I wanted a safety stirrup for sure. Um, I have seen so many riders injure themselves, um, riding English in particular, because they were not riding in a safety stirrup. Really important to have a safety stirrup. Now there's like basically two different designs with the safety straps, and uh, these ones are the ones that are basically designed in a special ergonomical design to prevent your foot from getting stuck in the stirrup if you were to fall off. Because if you look right here, there's like this wave, right? And so this kind of ergonomical design prevents if your horse were to buck, bolt, run, spook, you fall off, okay? It prevents your foot from getting caught in here because of this kind of wave. I don't know why I'm struggling to communicate how this works, but, um, they're really, really great at preventing your foot from getting stuck in here. Another type of safety stirrup um, that they design are the ones, they look just like this on this side. And then right here, they just have a very dense rubber band that hooks on a little nodule. And so what happens where if you were riding your horse, you fall off, your foot falls off this way, hits this, 
if this is a rubber band, the rubber band pops off and your foot is free to fly out. So there's like two different designs. I ordered these ones. I was struggling to find the other ones with the rubber band. Um, that was like, gosh, under $70. So I ordered these ones. These were only $22 for the pair so of both of them. And they honestly seem really high quality. I also like how there is some traction here. You can kind of see it has this nice rubber traction with the lines. And overall, they just seem to be like really heavy duty uh, stirrup irons. So that was the first thing that I ordered. All right, next thing is also from the brand Equiroyal or Tough One. Um, these are the stirrup leathers. So I got the like traditional adult size are 54 inches in length and these were only $20 I believe. Now Stateline Tack had like a ton of really great discount codes that I was able to utilize on this order so I got everything at a discounted price. And these are, I think they're called Biothane, Biothon, Biothane. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, so these are not like real leather. It's like a fake leather, but they do look like they're real leather. And I like them because they're super flexible. And uh, let's see here, can I get these off? Oh yeah, there's Velcro. That's kind of convenient. So let's take these Velcro pieces off and we'll kind of look at them a little bit better. So here they are. Of course you have your buckle sides right here. These buckles actually seem to be in pretty good quality considering the price. And this really, it actually kind of feels like real leather even though it's not. And I really like how flexible, like look at this. Nice and flexible. You don't have to worry about like breaking them in or them being like so stiff. Like sometimes when you get the like leather, leather irons, arms. Can you tell that I'm new to this English thing? Not leather, leather, <laughs> not leather irons. The ones that are, <laughs> Oh God, this is a mess. The ones that are leather, like made out of leather, stirrup leathers. There we go, okay. Those ones, if they're really, really stiff, it can be kind of annoying because they just like, you can barely bend them. But these being not leather are super flexible. That was what I was trying to say. And uh, yeah, they look really, really nice. I hope you guys can kind of see that. Yeah, yay, okay, woohoo. Okay, this is the thing I was like really, really excited about because if you're, so there's a lot of people who ride English and they're in the English world and they collect saddle pads like religiously and even being someone who rides Western, like I have had my fair collection and purchasing addiction with Western saddle pads, even even though they're bulkier and they're usually more expensive than English pads, but English pads are so much more affordable. Like on these sites, you can get some really cute ones for like 15, 20, $25, some even for like $40, but that you guys have like really cute colors in the English world and we don't always have that in the Western world unless you're willing to spend like $250 on a saddle pad, which I don't have not, I think I did that once in my life and it was like a $200 saddle pad and I still have it and I love it. But um, anyways, this is what arrived, okay? This is a really, really nice all purpose English pad from the brand Union Hill. And this was like $15. They had a few other colors, but I wanted to get Gemini, who is a Palomino, for those of you guys who do not know. I wanted to try him out in this Hunter Green color. Here it is from afar, okay? And uh, one thing about this is because of how they packaged it inside of this box, is it's like a little bit warped on this side, but I think it will be fine, like if I put a heavy book on it or even after I ride in it on my horse I think it's gonna like shape out correctly but you can see it's like kind of creased. They make very affordable and lots of fun colors of saddle pads. This is an all-purpose pad and then underneath this is what it looks like. I love it! I'm so excited you guys. I think it's gonna look really nice in this hunter green color and I also thought it was cool that it had this trim so this is like a really, really nice tan trim and I think it's just gonna look really classy on Gemini. And I uh, almost got him a blue, but I kind of wanted to go with something classier. So I thought that the, the hunter green color would look good. Cause you know, we, if, you're, if you've only written English 10 times in your whole life and you're a primarily Western writer, you gotta look like you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So the hunter green gives a little bit more of that 
I look like I know what I'm doing. I'm professional and classy. So we're just going to go with that. But anyways, um, that has been the whole tack unboxing haul, if you will. And um, I don't even think a year ago if you told me that I would have purchased an entire English tack set, I don't think I would have believed you. But here's to trying new things and really never stop learning as an equestrian. That is the number one thing I tell everyone. You never stop learning about the sport. Um, you know, there's never a wrong way to learn how to ride. I was listening to my favorite podcast, um, which is called Horses in the Morning. I'm sure you guys have heard of it before. And one of the hosts was talking about how there really isn't ever a bad way to learn how to ride. It doesn't matter if you ride English or Western or if you were trained in mounted archery or dressage. Um, or if you just hung out around outside with your horse and just did trails like being with horses and uh, Riding them being around them in general is such a huge blessing and a privilege and The horses don't care what kind of discipline you're doing as long as you treat them with kindness um, love and compassion and respect so I'm really excited to try English riding with my horse Gemini and I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. You can help me out by hitting the like button down below. Also subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. And I really enjoy reading comments. So leave me a comment in the comment box below and I will message you back. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.